All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Word with Ty Brownlow. I am your host, Ty Brownlow, and remember, no one is worthless, no story is worthless. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very special guest for you. Give you a couple of words about my guest. Entrepreneur, doctor, veteran, owner. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mr. Dr. Frank Vaughn. How are you? Doing good. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. All right, man. <laughs> Absolutely. I, look here. I appreciate you being on the show today. and uh, appreciate being here. No problem at all. So let's just get right into it if you don't mind. Absolutely. Okay. Now, my first question to you, um, when you were young, you know, did you have any idea of who you would be or what you would be doing now as far as being a chiropractor? Didn't think I was going to be in chiropractic. I, uh, when, I was, when I was six years old, my mother was uh, diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Mm, okay. Yeah, and, um, and it was that year my father left. Mm. So it was like, man, I wanted to be able to help her. I saw so many different doctors, you know, um, come into the picture um, and, and they got no resolution. But when I found out about this this chiropractic thing, you know, man, I fell in love. It, it was the answer, and um, so I, I, I stuck the stuck the path. I went forward with it. Okay, now you know, first and foremost, great story, and I'm, you know, like it's always a pleasure to hear how someone actually got into, you know, their field and their craft. Um, what I find interesting is, you know, the fact that you, you know, felt as if, hey, you know, no drugs, no surgery, no things of that nature. It's all natural, um, with the adjustments. Um, how was your mom after that, you know? Well, my mom passed away, uh, God bless her soul, uh, about 13 years ago. And, um, well, the whole drug thing, man, we, she used to take like, I don't know, 15 or 20 pills a day. Mm. And so just going up through life, you know, she was most of the time asleep. Yeah. Or just kind of out of it. Mm -hmm. or, uh, or in a hospital. And, um, and if you're taking the drugs your whole life, mm -hmm. and in a hospital your whole life, but yet there's no resolution that there's got to be <laughs> right. some kind of, uh, you know, healing out there that can, you know, be, be effective. And um, and so when I saw what chiropractic could do, you know, it was an easy choice. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me just ask, like, how have you, like, adapted to life during this pandemic, you know, as far as, like, you know, your work and your patience? Like, mm -hmm. how has life been for you, like... Well, I can't say post-pandemic because we're not over, but right, right. how has life been for you since the pandemic began? You know, it. Um, I take an uh, approach uh, or I look at it as it's kind of just like everything else. It's a season. Yeah. Um, th there's this new normal, but there's always a new normal, right? <laughs> Something that's changed big is, is the value. Um, uh, value of time mm -hmm. uh, with my loved ones, with my, my own time, and... Um, and gratitude. Now, being thankful, there were so many things uh, that we were privy to before mm -hmm. uh, that that uh, that that don't exist anymore. And, and and I think my value of my personal time and time with my family, and my gratitude for just uh, just just the things that I have, uh, as far as like the blinders being off and seeing the full picture. Yes, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Me, it has, has, has shifted tremendously and, um, and the things that uh, I thought were you know, so you know, important or took so much you know, gratification uh, as far as I did uh, are no longer existing. So mm -hmm. those are some big shifts that actually happened for me. And those are, well, in my mind, those are very important shifts because <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, when it's all said and done, family is important and you know, important that, thing. You know, that's the number one thing. Absolutely. So, I mean, that great insight. That you guys <laughs> yeah. So what personal values separate you from others in your field? Like, why are you the person to see? Um, I think there's a lot of passionate chiropractors out there that, that do good work. Uh, but one of the things that we pride ourselves on um, here at Health on Earth is uh, being a servant mm -hmm. to our community. Um, especially uh, uh, our, our practice base is, is largely of... Uh, people that serve the community. So we call ourselves servants of servants. Hmm. And, uh, and that's we mostly uh, service people like the firefighters, military, our teachers, uh, preachers, and families. Um, everybody comes, but that's the community that we serve because they're the ones that we believe make the biggest impact as far as in, you know, 
society. So uh, that's what you'll see us serve, and that's what you'll see us pouring into. The, that's what you'll see uh, um, us really trying to make, uh, you know, uh, uh, some a platform to thrive, because uh, we truly believe in really going out and just giving our, our very best to those that that actually make this world go round. Well, yeah, servants of servants. So, so like, yeah. you have to service those who service others. Who, Absolutely. I mean, that's Absolutely. how we pretty much keep the, you know, um, wheel spinning and, you know, moving along. Okay. All right. I see you there, Doc. I see you. Okay. <laughs> so now let me ask this question. Now, I'm going to ask this in a way that's not so biased, you okay. know, because Got we're it. here. But Got it. Um, traditional medicine versus chiropractic medicine, in your opinion. Uh -huh. Um, is one more important than the other? Mm -hmm. When the medical doctor is doing what he's taught, um, I think that um, that in emergency situations, we have the number one care on the planet here mm -hmm. with, our, with our medical system. But as far as in maintaining your health and maintaining your body, I think chiropractors, what we do is, as far as really maintaining the the body, that's what we do. We support the body and function at its optimal potential so that your body can thrive and not just be in a survival state. Mm. So that's the, the big difference with chiropractic. It's not about a specific condition, but it's about allowing your body to function at its optimal potential. So you step on a nail and you have a pain in your foot. Mm -hmm. Do you want the nail pulled out or do you want a codeine so you don't feel a nail in your foot? I want the nail pulled out. <laughs> so what chiropractors do is we go to the core source root of the problem. We remove the interference. And in that case, and in the case with us, it's the nervous system, which is your brain and spine, controls everything in your body. Mm -hmm. As long as it's flowing um, uninterfered with, your body has the best chance to, to thrive, to be in a survival, I mean, a thrive state. Okay, all right. Absolutely. So it's basically the mesh of the two that you Absolutely. feel is, you know, key. Okay, all right. So staying with, like, chiropractic or, or what have you, what stereotypes or misconceptions about chiropractic medicine would you like to set straight? Now, I, and, and, and I always answer that uh, with a, um, it's kind of like your teeth. All right, you know, you could have no cavities. You could have perfectly white chompers, right? right. Do you stop brushing them? No. You ask them, why not though? Well, decay or whatever. <laughs> right. You, you don't want them. <laughs> you want to maintain them. You want to keep them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something like most people, once they understand chiropractic, they tend to keep getting adjusted and maintaining their health because they want to be at optimal performance. Um, another stereotype is the popping and the cracking sound. Uh, <laughs> so some people say that your bones are breaking. Uh, that, that is actually the popping and cracking sound is just gas being forced out your joint. Literally your whole body is constantly releasing gases, carbon dioxide, uh, monoxide. I mean, it's nitrous oxide in your joints. And so when you have a, a buildup of nitrogen and oxygen and when you move the joint, it's designed to release it. So when it's out of place, when you make the movement, sometimes you'll hear the noise. Okay. All right. All right. Fair enough. Right. So, I mean, okay. <laughs> well, you know, there, so I'm definitely glad that you said that because there are all these misconceptions out there. Um, especially if we get on social media and go to YouTube sometimes. Oh my gosh. And... That's why we're here <laughs> having this talk now so we can like squash those myths because Absolutely. sometimes when you go on social media, you get pulled into like the rabbit hole and the next thing you know, I'm like, oh, well, no, maybe, no, you know what? <laughs> Absolutely. It's okay. All right. All right. But, you know, you just hit it on, you know, a word that I think sort of describes you as well and that's genuine. And, mm. you know, just sitting up here talking to you in our conversation so far, um, you know, all that I hear is nothing but, you know, genuine words coming out, just actions, Thank how you, you got Thank here, you. just everything, and pretty much the service that you provide to your patients, <laughs> I feel genuine, above Thank and beyond, you. because you have an understanding Absolutely. of who you know you serve. So if people want to get in contact with you, like, how can people get in contact with you? 
Oh, well, you can go to my website at www.healthonearth.live. Again, that's www.healthonearth.live. Or you could call the office at uh, 708-396-2500. Uh, the number again is 708-396-2500. All right. And first and foremost, I just want to say I appreciate you being my guest today. All right. Definitely. definitely. Honor's, just, honor's all mine. I thought definitely. Definitely. Look, health on earth, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Come on now. Get those joints and everything worked out. And remember, once again, this is Word with Ty Brownlow. I've been your host, Ty Brownlow. You can follow me on all social media platforms at Word with Ty Brownlow. Or you can just go to my website, tybrownlow.com. Get this wonderful interview, plus other great interviews. We out, people. Peace.